So I think today's session was a clear breakthrough for the posture and the form of my squat that's able to really minimize the discomfort I feel in my lower back region, right? And um, upon all my endeavors and approaches to really pinpointing where the problem is, um, you know, I've like played around with like the decompressing of my spine, like flexing my spine, um, extending, you know, just all the main uh, prime movers of the spine, right? And I guess the first initiatives were typically with like um, anterior pelvic tilt, posterior pelvic tilt, um, the way my spine kind of like moves when I go down to the arse grass position, right? Because typically with butt wink, it causes a bit of flexion and thus um, excessive movement of the spine while loaded with the um, heavy weight, right? Now, for um, the past two sessions, I've been really trying to get some blood flow into the core, right? So that consists of, you know, like your abs. And now in this part, I'm doing Romanian deadlifts, more for my posterior chain. So like my hamstrings, glutes, and my erectors, right? Now, um, so I've definitely seen some good results, especially in the warm-up, if I do um, high rep, low weight um, Romanian deadlifts, right? And um, yeah, it's more so the lower muscles, I guess, which so like your gluteus medius and your maximus right that kind of engage closer up towards the erectus right not exactly being the prime movers of extension right of your spine but still within the posterior chain right now uh before that so yeah my first thoughts were well maybe so like if I had to exactly palpate the point where my pain is a bit like, you know, a bit iffy, it's the L1 to T12 uh, vertebrae, right? It's the uh, junction between my lumbar to my thoracic region. So like lower back to the mid back, that one point is where I guess my, the integrity of my spine is failing, right? And, um, you know, I used to like really focus on the spine in that lower region, right? I didn't really see it as a holistic position where my um, cervical, so my upper back would really have much of a deal with my spine, right? In general, I was under the assumption that I had a strong upper back. My big back was also fairly uh, strong. So thus, I did not have to put much attention to these areas, right? Well, I was somewhat correct in that in the sense that my cervical spine, like cervical region, was able to hold its posture alongside its lumbar spine, right? So, like, I had the strength for that. However, the biggest point I wanted to mention in this session was my neck posture and my head, right? Now, I've mentioned this in last ses- in my last session, but I did not go in depth with it. I only brought it up as, like, a um, raising concern, right? So, today, I really tried to keep my neck or my head posture a bit more parallel to the ground, right? So I was looking down slightly, but nowhere near as much as I normally do, right? I have a very, very bad habit of staring at my feet when I go down in the eccentric of my squat because um, I developed this need or this, uh, yeah, so like a dependency for me to use my legs as a reference point such that I need to continuously uh, ensure that I'm in the correct position, have the proper balance, and everything is, like, even now, right? So that was a very bad habit, almost as bad as, like, you know, squatting in front of a mirror, because you lose dependency when you squat without these, um, pin- these key reference points, right? So I decided I'm going to look parallel and look a tiny bit down, right? Because... I realized, well, your head is really, really, it's pretty heavy, right? It's about five kilos. So if you think about the anatomy of your trunk, right, it's pretty clumsy. So you have like this very thin spine. So all through a pair of, you know, like bones with like this cushion disc all in between, right? So already that's fairly unstable. And then you got a bit of integrity with your muscles that ensure its stability, right? 
And at the very top, what do you have? You have this big fat ball on your head, which is your head, right? And how is that junction to your um? How is this articulated to your spine? It's through your neck muscles, and what your neck muscles are really just like your sternocleidomastoid, right? And these guys. Uh, they're helped up with these smaller muscles, right? So like if you cause flexion with both of them, they allow for you to move your, to extend your head up, right? So if you think about it, you have this very fat, clumsy head of yours that is, um, you know, by moving it around, it really screws up your posture, right? So if I, if people are telling you that looking down on your phone all this all the time causes like somewhat of a nerve pinch and all that, or in general, is able to influence or heavily influence the posture of your cervical region. And once your upper back is screwed up, it screws up your whole integrity of your spine. Then how does this not make, or like how can this not have a significant importance to, to the squat, right? So uh, yeah, that's why I decided to stay parallel with my head, right? Because by keeping my head like excessively down, right? It causes or like it promotes flexion of the spine, right? So a part of my head, right? When it goes down, what does what happens to my spine? My upper back compensates by trying to bring it back up, right? Now, I mentioned that it was my lumbar to thoracic region that one point that is a bit irritating, right? So because I have this ball that is bringing my spine back down, but then my lumbar spine is trying to ensure extension and uh, anterior pelvic tilts, you know, through my um, iliacus, my psoas, and uh, rectus femoris, right? So those muscles, if I have those muscles trying to keep my back, like lower back extended, or my thoracic spine is pushing down because of my head, right, looking down, then obviously that one junction point is going to be excessively irritated and annoyed throughout my whole squat session, right? And that's because of my, just like the poor posture of my head, right? And I realized like, so you got to be very, very meticulous with how you um, look about your, the whole anatomy of your back right and just your body so essentially right because of this um if i mention or refer back to how i warmed up my uh or like i increased the blood flow of my posterior chain right i was able to not only um i guess give attention to the uh, anterior pelvic tilt of my spine but also look about the lower back and the upper back as those two main points that were kind of conflicting with one another and thus ensure balance and uh, equilibrium between those two. And that was really the one thing that made me or like gave me that epiphany moment to, you know, just not have any form of back pain whatsoever. So by leaning forward a bit more in my, um, my squat, I was able to recruit more of my anterior region. So the quads, And like, I guess, in essence, keep a balance between, again, like the lower and the upper region of my spine and thus ensure integrity and uh, like a holistic strength throughout my whole body, right? So those were basically the main observations and uh, thoughts from today's session. And yeah, I'll finish it off here.